Hi everyone, this is Brian Fraser with Adamson Systems continuing the Blueprint AV tutorial video series. In the last episode, we learned how to correct the initial splay settings resulting from using the auto shoot function to smooth out your system's frequency response. Now that we have a basic array design complete, it's time to take a look at the mechanical tab. Before clicking on the mechanical tab, make sure you have your array selected. The mechanical tab contains all the information you will need to properly suspend your array, as well as providing warnings when your design does not conform to safety standards. The mechanical tab's graphical display consists of four windows, the main array view on the left, the rigging frame section view at the top, the rigging frame overhead view on the bottom, and the room view on the right. Note that the room view has changed to 3D mode, as the 2D graphs are not applicable here. Each display can be zoomed in or out using the cursor wheel on the mouse, and can be moved by holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse. The section on the left contains your control parameters and data. Dimensions refers to the rigging point's coordinates, the enclosure rigging positions, the enclosure actual angles, and the bottom array point coordinates. Overall refers to the various length, width, and height measurements displayed. Selecting gravity will show you the center of gravity of your array, as well as the weight distribution between motors, or if you're using one motor, the total weight. UH load refers to the specific weight of any underhang boxes that would require an adapter frame, which we are currently not using. Selecting name will allow you to see the model name of each enclosure. Selecting small alarm only will disable the large red text alarm to allow you an unfettered view of your screen in order to identify potential issues. Go back to the cabinet tab and change the rigging frame's vertical angle to negative 25. Now go to the mechanical tab and you will see a large warning over top of your display. Click the small alarm only box to reduce the size of said warning. Note that the only way you can fully dismiss the load warning is to choose a rigging configuration that conforms to safety standards. In the frame menu, all configuration options of the rigging frame you are currently working with are available. Hanging type allows you to change the motor count. Below hanging type is the data regarding position, weight, and degree. X, Y, and Z refer to the position as per the user-defined reference axis of the front lifting bracket on the rigging frame. The lifting frame angle is the tilt of the rigging frame, which is the measurement you should be verifying with an Adamson inclinometer attached to your rigging frame. The horizontal angle is graphically represented in the bottom graph. As this is a main hang, we are at zero degrees. If this were an outfill hang, you would see a different value here. Top side angle refers to the angle measurement you would be reading if your Adamson inclinometer was placed on the top side of the top box in your array. Bottom side angle is the inverse of this, which is the measurement you would be reading if your Adamson inclinometer was placed on the bottom side of the bottom box in the array. Bottom array point refers to the coordinates of the lowest physical point in the array. Stage at is a measurement of the distance from the bottom array point to the stage floor. Since we have not defined a stage in this design, this section is blank. Total weight is the weight of the array and rigging frame. The distance between rigging points can be shown in the top display. In this case, the measurement is 1.1 meters. Total depth of the array is listed in the main display. Since we do not have a heavily splayed array, the depth does not exceed the depth of the rigging frame's extender beam, which is 1.28 meters. The total length of the array is shown in the main display as 4.81 meters. The total width of the array is shown in the bottom display as 1.29 meters. Please stay tuned for the next installment of the Blueprint tutorial video series.